You're watching Hurricane 2018. Learning from Irma. Everywhere you live, somewhere there's something. There's an Irma for everybody somewhere in their life. So not really. Um, just preparing a little bit better for it this time. If there was a single tragedy that defined Hurricane Irma, it was the deaths of at least a dozen people after the loss of power knocked out the air conditioning at the Hollywood Hills Nursing Home. So has anything changed? CBS 4's Jim DeFeeney covered the nursing home tragedy last year. He went back looking for answers. The images are unforgettable. Nursing home residents drenched in sweat, being wheeled into the parking lot of the rehabilitation center at Hollywood Hills. Four people died inside the home. At least eight more perished within hours of being evacuated. This incident was in the making for years. State Senator Gary Farmer represents Hollywood and the surrounding area. It goes back to the deregulation of the nursing home industry in general. One thing with capitalism, uh, if there's no financial downside, if there's no accountability, uh, responsibility tends to wane. Farmer and others in the legislature tried to pass what they considered meaningful nursing home reform, but they couldn't even get their bill to the floor of the legislature for a vote. What was actually accomplished in Tallahassee? Really not much. The one thing the legislature did was pass a bill requiring nursing homes to have backup generators. Farmer said it was little more than a stunt because federal regulations were going to require nursing homes this year to have backup generators anyway. And we had uh, uh, the audacity to pass a bill that gives them some tax relief for buying a generator that they were really already required to have. So they got a financial break to comply with the law. Uh, that's how special interests work in Tallahassee. They tend to obfuscate things, they tend to distract people from the true issues, and then uh, they pass something and they claim it's reform when it's really not. Sadly, Farmer notes, the legislature continues to allow the nursing homes to essentially be on the honor system when it comes to protecting their residents. Okay, we've got a requirement under state law that you have an emergency plan in place. But nobody goes to these facilities uh, to inspect them and ensure that they have the supplies, the resources, the training to implement the emergency plan when it becomes needed. And so, yeah, Jim, I'm, I'm fearful that uh, this could happen again because we haven't addressed this uh, problem or this potential tragedy happening again in the way we should. And Jim joins us now on our set. So why hasn't more been done in Tallahassee? Look, uh, Representative or Senator Farmer really touches on it. One of the things you have to realize is the industry is incredibly powerful. Also, the legislature was really distracted. If you remember the beginning of the session, there were a number of sex scandals that really rocked the place and caused a bit of paralysis, and then the Parkland shooting happened. And once the Parkland shooting happened, all of the energy and momentum from the legislature that the nursing home tried to get going really got sucked up by that issue. So what specific reforms would have made a difference? You know, he touched on one that was very important. One of the things that we learned about the Hollywood Hills nursing home was that they had an emergency plan, but their emergency plan had been photocopied time and time and time again. And there was nobody who was actually visiting these homes to try to determine if they knew what they were doing, if they were re actually prepared to implement them. For instance, you can't just have in your emergency plan a line that says, you know, if our power goes out, we'll go out and buy a generator. That doesn't work, in, you know, in a storm when everyone's trying to do it. Another thing they could have done that they would have really liked, he says that there's a bill that's going out through in Georgia now to have any cams, you know, those hidden cameras that you could place in a room. That right now, Florida does not allow that to happen. Hmm, interesting. All right, Jim DeFeedy, thanks very much for going back to the nursing sure. home and getting us some information.